Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of this new series called The War Room, where we will discuss all things gaming with a focus on things that are a bit more technical and detailed. In this first episode I'd like to talk about gaming setup with a particular focus on the optimum viewing distance when you're gaming. This information applies to PC and console gaming and can really make a difference if you set yourself up correctly. I got the idea to do this video when I noticed what a massive impact even a small change in my gaming environment has on my success in game. I'm sure many of you have decided to change something seemingly insignificant like how you sit when you game and all of a sudden you either get completely murdered or you just seem to hit that sweet spot and go on a rampage. At the very least you will experience a notable difference in your overall experience of the game when you change something small about your environment. So I did some research and came to the conclusions I'll present you guys in this video. First things first, let's look at the human eye. Hand-eye, or more correctly eye-hand coordination, is literally the most important physical mechanism involved with playing games. You simply cannot be a good FPS gamer if you have bad eye-hand coordination. When you search Google Scholar, you'll find more than 20,000 results dealing with eye-hand coordination and gaming. And the general opinion on the matter is that regular gaming improves your eye-hand coordination quite significantly. Now in order to give your brain the best chance possible to coordinate your hand movements to what your eyes see on screen, two things need to happen. One, you need to see enough detail in terms of character models, terrain, HUD elements, etc, etc. And two, you need to be able to see the whole display in the main focal area of your vision, which is a very small area. Unfortunately, you can't have both. Our eyes can only differentiate detail, color, shape and movement in a focal area of between 5 and 10 degrees, which is really tiny. Everything outside this focal area is called peripheral vision. If you're at a computer right now, look down at the keyboard with your head about 30 centimeters or 12 inches away from it. Focus on the keys in the middle, like the H and the B key. You'll see that your vision starts to blur as close as the enter key or even closer. So you see that your main focal area is a very small point in the center of your vision. Obviously, if you move a bit further back, more of the keyboard comes in focus. However, with the increase in distance, you once again lose the ability to see detail. All this means that we need to find the sweet spot where you can have as much of the display in your main focal area, yet be close enough to the display to distinguish details, and let's not forget to be somewhat immersed in the game as well. Now the optimum angle for casual viewing, like watching a movie, is about 36 to 40 degrees, and to calculate how far you need to be from your display to achieve that angle is really easy. Simply divide your screen size in inches by 0.84. This gives you the distance in inches you need to be away from your display. However, when you game, you want to try and reduce that angle to at least 30 degrees because this is where your eye starts losing the ability to differentiate shape. To do this, simply change the value in our formula to 0.62. So, if your display has a diagonal size of 40 inches, you need to sit 5 feet 4 inches or 1.7 meters away. These numbers are based on the average person's ability to distinguish shape, movements and color in their peripheral vision. But regular gaming improves your ability to gather and react to information from your peripheral vision. So if you can manage, try and sit even further back than the distance the formula suggests. I game on a 42 inch TV, so according to the formula I need to sit 1.7 meters away. But I actually sit 2.5 meters away because I still find it comfortable at that distance. It's also obviously important to try and sit in the center of your display and not off to one side. Not only does this help reduce glare on your screen, but by looking at your display from a side angle, you distort the frustum the game developers built into the game engine, which basically means you skew the in-game perspective. When it comes to the height of your display, things get much simpler. Basically, you want to make sure you don't have to look up more than 15 degrees towards the center of your display. The best scenario is to have your display slightly below your line of sight as your eyes suffer the least fatigue when they're looking slightly down. Lastly, it's important to try and get used to a gaming position that promotes blood flow and reduces muscle strain. If possible, the ideal scenario would be to stand while you game. But like me, I would imagine most people prefer sitting down and relaxing while they game, so just make sure you sit in a comfortable position. I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly more technical video. I will be posting the aim assist video under this new series soon. I'm just waiting on some feedback from EA regarding a few details. As always, please leave your suggestions and comments in the comment section below and please keep the great video suggestions coming. I will definitely be using some of the ideas you guys put forward. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please like, share and subscribe. Also follow me on Twitter for the latest news and updates on my channel. The link is in the description. And if you want to do some of your own research on today's topic, I'll put a couple of links in the description that'll be worth checking out. I'll see you guys in the next one.